we are going to make a number spiral. What you need is this copy of a, of a circle with numbers on it in a particular way, a ruler or anything that makes a, lo a straight edge that would go from one number to the other. So even a piece of cardboard would work. A couple of markers or pencils or crayons, anything that you want to draw with. I would suggest the first time you do it, you do it with pencil. So the first thing you wanna do is pick two numbers because we'll make a complicated design the, the first time because it's very easy to make a complicated design with this method. So I'm going to pick like in the directions that you have, I'm going to pick the numbers two and nine. So what that means is what I'm gonna do is first I'm gonna find the number two. And every time I see two, I'm going to add two. So I'm gonna go, so two plus two is four. So I'm gonna go from two to four. Then two more, four plus two is six. So there I go. Six plus two is eight. Eight plus two is 10. 10 plus two is 12. 12 plus two is 14. 14 plus two is 16. I could also just start counting up 14, then I go one, two steps, I'm at 16. So you always start at the next number, don't start at the number that you're at. So if I go 16, and then I wanna go two more up, 17, 18, two steps. So I'm going up to 18. Okay, now I'm gonna go around again, and now I have to just count two steps. So 18, okay, 19, 20. So 20 is not on there, I just have to keep counting, or I can just count two, because that might be easier. So one, two, so I'm going to three, one to three. Then I go three, and then I go two steps, one, two, five. Two more, five, and then two more. Five, one, two, seven. So it's just like the number line. You're just jumping, right? Seven, then I go two jumps. One, two, I'm at nine. Seven and nine. Then I'm at nine, two jumps. Nine, 10, nine to 10, 10 to 11, that's two jumps. 11, and then two jumps to 12, then to 13, it's two jumps. Thirteen, then one, two jumps to fifteen. Okay, so we're almost done with this one. Then we're gonna put another pattern on top of this one. So if you've ever seen a spirograph, this is the same thing. It's just that you don't need all those little extra things. You can just use numbers. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So that's two jumps. Fifteen to sixteen, sixteen to seventeen. That would be two jumps. Okay. Then when I land back at the star, one, two, ooh, I'm back at the star. That means I'm finished. So you start at the star, you end at the star. Now, see it's not exactly perfect, but it's pretty good. Okay, so now I'm gonna do nines. Now what that's gonna do is because it goes all the way across, it's gonna make a much bigger pattern. So I go from the star, I start at the star, I go to nine. Then I'm gonna count up nine more. So nine plus nine is 18. So then I go from nine to 18. So see, this is looking a little weird, isn't it? How I'm going right next to it, but that's how it's gonna go. So now I'm at 18 and I gotta go nine more jumps, right? So I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so now I was at 18 and now I'm going down to eight. So this part is really important to just do jumps with, especially when you get to the bigger numbers. Okay, now I am at eight, so I have to count nine more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or I could have added eight and nine that time because it fit in the, in the circle, the numbers on the circle, but okay. All right, now I'm at 17, I go nine more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
17 to 7. But you can already see the design that's being made here. I'm at seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven to sixteen. Okay, now I'm at sixteen. I go nine jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sixteen to six. Nine jumps, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, six to 15. Okay, now I'm at 15, nine jumps, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 15 to five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, five to 14. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fourteen to four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, four to thirteen. So sometimes you can keep your finger on the first number while you're going for the second numbers, just in case you might forget. I don't know. Okay, thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirteen to three. Okay, now I'm at three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three to 12. I'm at 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 12 to two. I'm at two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or two and nine is eleven. Now I'm at eleven. I'm going to go nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eleven and one. Just remember when you count, you're not counting the one you're at. You count at the next one after the one that your finger is on as one. Okay, my finger's on it. And one plus nine is going to be 10. I know that, so I don't have to jump. Okay. 10 plus nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oop, I'm back at the store. And there is a beautiful design, all made by counting. So when you want to do a lay another pattern on top of this, you would just pick a different number. So you could pick like you did two and nine. So if you wanted something more different, you might wanna pick something between two and nine. So maybe you're gonna pick, maybe you could pick five. So then you count five each time, one, two, three, four, five. So you can do it any number that's on here to get a different pattern. You can keep laying different colors. You could color this in if you want. Um, you could color it maybe if you use, you could do mixed media. So I could do it in marker and then I could color it in crayon um, any way that you like. So enjoy making your number spirals. And if you ever need more of these circles, just uh, please feel free to ask and I'm happy to give you some more.